So non-infectious posterior uveitis is a, a very difficult and a chronic disease to control. And currently, the only available treatments are in the form of steroids and certain non-steroidal uh, drugs, which are very expensive and very toxic to the body. So we are looking at some emerging therapies, which could be mainly non-steroidal, not have the side effects of steroids, that's particularly the cataract, uh, and the rise in intraocular pressure that can be used locally in the eye and it could be repeated frequently without any side effects. Uh, this increases the patient compliance and it's a very easy route of administration and it avoids all the systemic side effects from the drugs that we use systemically. Uh, all the anti-metabolites or the biologics that are coming out in the market uh, these all drugs, they cause severe uh, systemic side effects and most patients become non-compliant because of that. I think the, the most exciting uh, aspects of research in the future as regards uh, retina is the discovery of new pathways to target various retinal diseases, uh, newer drugs, and most importantly, drugs which have efficacy but the cost is low because that is going to be the major issue worldwide is the cost factor and you see the healthcare costs are going up so we need drugs which are cheaper but equally effective and there are you know a huge wave of the newer drugs particularly what we call as biosimilars which are coming out in the market uh, as regards ophthalmology is concerned we are way behind because you already have biosimilars in other branches of medicine but as far as a retina is concerned, uh, we are in the verge of emerging treatments of biosimilars, particularly the biosimilar anti-VEGFs and the biosimilar biologics, which are coming out in the market pretty soon. It's, it's a very exciting meeting. It's very different from the past meetings. And uh, what I'm learning from this meeting is a very exciting areas of new areas of imaging techniques, uh, new areas of drug delivery systems, uh, namely uh, gene vector therapies or nanoparticle therapies. And I think most excitedly, we are seeing newer avenues of uh, what we used to call artificial retina. And you have different forms of artificial retina or the nano retina, which is coming out in the futures. And most importantly, these are going to be very cheap and very efficient and of high resolutions. So, you know, there's a large population of blind people uh, who we presume are going to be very, very affordable and they'll be serving a big plus to the community as a whole.